Hello everyone, a uh, quick video as promised just to show you how easy it is to install these Altium locks to replace your existing barrels in your doors to improve the security of your house. Uh, that's what they look like from the outside and the inside. Got the three stars and the diamond to show the level of security they offer. Uh, that was the suppliers that Altium have sent me that are supposed to be local to Streetly. Uh, and I got mine from Dorfit which is in Hockley. I'll put them back on the end so you can contact them to get yours. Um, so there's three bits of information you'll need to give your chosen supplier when you're ordering your locks. Um, I took the barrel out of the door, the existing barrel out of the doors to get this information. First of all is the length. This is a 75mm barrel, equal split. Um, I'll explain the split in a moment, but yeah, the length is important. Uh, obviously replace like for like if as long as your existing barrel isn't sticking out of your door too much you don't want it sticking out any more than three mil if it is then you need to order a barrel slightly smaller so it's 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 the right length it's not sticking out at all uh, so the split the first one i just showed you is an equal split these two are an unequal split which means the black bit in the middle isn't quite in the center uh, so when you take your existing one out you can measure to find out what is the length on the outside and what's the length on the inside to the centre spindle. These are 35mm uh, on one side and 30mm on the other side. So that's very important, make sure you get that right. Uh, hopefully it will just be a simple equal split and, and you won't have to worry about that but as I say it's just a easy measurement. If it's not, uh, just make sure you get that right. So this is a barrel I've just taken out, I've just replaced one already, just to make sure it's as easy as I'm about to show you, which uh, which it is. Uh, the screw there is, is what retains the barrel in the door. Obviously you can't get to the screw once the door's closed, because it's within the reveal of the door. So I'll just take that out, and you can see how delicate that area of the barrel is. There's nothing holding the barrel together at the top. Um, so that's how it's how it's so easy to break in there just get the mole grips on the end and snap it down and the lock is absolutely useless then so they just turn the handle and and they're in as you can see it's quite different on the old locks most, much more substantial center section and this is where the uh, technology is which obviously it doesn't stop the barrels actually being snapped they can still break the barrels but there's there's a something inside that black section that just makes the lock lock into place and, and you can't break in so that's what makes them so secure so this is the one I'm going to be replacing to show you uh, so you open the door, unlock the door, keep the key in the barrel Phillips screwdriver, standard bit of kit I'm sure you've all got one in the house uh, lots of screws on the reveal of the door, you want the one that's in line with the lock obviously that's what's retaining it in place. Simply unscrew it, get the initial bite off, uh, and it should be quite loose. So, uh, yeah, unscrew that all the way. So once you've got past that bite, you'll be able to unscrew it with your fingers. It's it's really simple. So yeah, once you've got that screw out, put it to one side. You're just going to turn the key and pull, and it will come straight out. It's that centre spindle that you just need to get in line in order to pull it out the door. Simple as that. So that's that one gone. Throw it in the bin, do what you want with it. Um, get your replacement ulti and lock. Uh, and again, you'll need your key for that lock. You'll see it's same, same size. Looks a bit more substantial, but it is actually the same size. Uh, equal split one, show you the internal and the external side. So obviously you want the external to the outside of the door. So I'm going to put the key in the internal internal side of the barrel. You can do it from either side, it doesn't matter. Uh, so you're going to turn the key so the red part is in line, like I just said. Put it in, give it a little wriggle just to get it in. You see it's just caught the external handle there, so just give it a wriggle and out it pops. Nothing difficult there get it centralised, you'll be able to turn the key when it's in the right place so you know that's in the right place, all working so you get the screw, Altium supply screws with uh, 
the retaining screws that I supply that with. Uh, I actually put the old tune screw in this barrel, um, but I didn't think it was long enough, so I actually, after the video, went back and took that screw out and put the original one in, just so you know it's it's all the way through the uh, barrel. Uh, but that's it. Closed the door, all works, no problems. Job done. Much more secure. It's uh, much more secure to the back door now. Instant mind at ease. Um, you know they're not going to get in while you're asleep without making an absolute row. So there's the suppliers local to Streetly that Altoon have sent me once again. So it's there for you to take, get in contact with them, give them your information, and uh, yeah, get your locks and have a go fitting it yourself. All the best and uh, good luck. Cheers.